Uh, so I get home around 7 p.m. every night. When do you grind? When, when do you get the clock in your new dream? So from 7 to 9, 9.30 is family time, dinner, bath, uh, story time. So I only get from between 9.30 to 10.30 at night. So I got to get some sleep. And I'm just going to go back on the share screen. You need some love on this, dude. You're a completely fucking different human being than the first time we talked, the second time, the third time. And why I'm bringing this up is that the biggest thing, I would say the biggest excuse people tell me is they just don't have time. And why I'm saying this and sharing this is because people just need to shut the hell up. All right? If Wilmar can do it, anybody can do it. The Perspective Podcast is fuel for your mind and creative grind. Each week, we break down the art of healthy hustling, overcoming the inner critic, and growing your creative business. Next up, we got Starvin' Marvin. I'm Marvin Nunez of Nunez Graphic Design. I develop custom brand identities, advertising, and editorial campaigns for lifestyle and apparel brands. Um, you know, I'm striving to present their products and their message through unique creative content that engages with their community and their clientele. Um, big picture, I guess by 2025, my goal is to have taken my brand full time in a studio where I have space for content creation. Um, I'll be selling merchandise and apparel as well as running my own magazine publication that allows me to collaborate with other creatives like the wonderful folks in this group. Nice. Nice. On point, man. Thank you. Um, what's something you're grateful for? Uh, something I'm grateful for. Um, definitely this group, um, all of you guys. And in that, just like proving my inner critic wrong. Um, you know, I've mentioned before, like sometimes feeling like I dream too big sometimes, um, and getting scared to like start projects or like worrying if it might not work out. But, um, I think that is what creates, I guess, that, that excitement afterwards, once the project's done and you're just like, I proved this to myself, you know, I can actually do this, you know, I'm not an imposter. Um, People are clearly digging it. They're loving it. Um, so it just feels good. It's definitely great. Speak that. specifically to that scenario. What was something you just recently um, dreamed big about <laughs> and took massive action and just fucking murdered this project? Yeah. So when we first spoke, um, you put this idea in my head about eventually down the road, making a pride campaign for Nike. Um, and in kind of, I guess, finding my niche, um, which is more like lifestyle and apparel, um, sneakers, clothing. Um, I was like, man, that would be just like the perfect project to start off with. It just aligns with things I love, things I believe in. And um, it's just me. Um, but in that, I'm just like, okay, that's Nike. So you got to kind of deliver, you know, at least decently. Um, it is, it was like one of, I guess, the first custom ghost brand project um, that I've posted on my Instagram um, since I've started the program. So yeah, there was just a lot of excitement, a lot of nerves going into it. Um, could I actually deliver? Um, but yeah. And we'll flex on them real quick. <laughs> yeah. You, I want to celebrate for you. Like this is insane for those who are watching. I'm doing a screen share. Um, it's like what I had in mind, but then inject it with steroids and feed it 15 <laughs> Red Bulls, <laughs> um, and have it climb a mountain. And that's what you did on this one. Thank you. Yeah, look that. at that. So did that pretty much silence the inner critic? Like, dude, this is stuff that people will hire you for. 
and you showed you can di- you can do it by because you hired yourself. You know, we set those targets. Like I, when I jump on every call with a student to like um, a discovery call in a sense to set some big target. I want to see where you're steering the ship to even see if I can take you seriously. And I made you uncomfortable by continually like, like what else, you know, what, what would be a dream client? And I could tell it made you uncomfortable. And right. now hopefully this just like destroyed whatever barrier, like it's still going to be there in the back of your mind. It never goes away. I deal with the inner critic every day, but now that barrier has gone you know what you can do now. Like we know what you can do. Right. Like you really stepped right. it up. Like this was dope. You you completely like archived your whole pro, um, Instagram account and restarted from scratch. This is, yeah. I don't want you to yes. feel like you have to hit a home run every time you come up to play because this is going to be really hard to top. You think so? <laughs> I mean, I'm, like, I think I'm it's just because I'm, it blew away so my expectations. Fun. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm definitely, I'm having so much fun. Um, and that's, that's, the the icing on the cake i guess um like really just enjoying my work and like just feeling it and like being excited to start a a new project and like coming up with these concepts in the middle of the night and getting up quickly to write them down um it just Mm. shows that i am i guess doing the right thing with my my career with my life Um, you're i think the biggest thing people struggle with are that I hear about is people just aren't excited to wake up right. and work on something. And that's why you're all here is to like tap into that work that's play that you guys really love. Cause dude, you felt like you were playing this whole time, right? Like you felt alive. Right. You, I bet you time just flew by and fiance had to go and be like, yo, get off your computer. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So what's next or anything you want to talk about or struggle wise or, you know, kind of what's on your mind right now? Um, I'm not, I wouldn't really say I'm struggling too much, um, which I guess I'm also grateful for, but. It's um, a win in itself. Yeah, it is. Um, it was a different story like two weeks ago. Right, for sure. I'm I'm just finding my groove. I think that's, that's what it is. Um, right now I am doing just more concept pieces. Um, I just did a little mini photo shoot in my tiny living room um, the same project um so i guess stride with pride will be over um tomorrow i'm thinking i'm gonna you got another one for, for that yeah cool. so after that i'm just gonna just keep kicking out just concept ads and stuff like that um until because what's, I, what's the what's the bigger picture why you're doing this hiring yourself because of this Right. And I guess the big word there is uh, hiring or hiring myself. Um, That's something I haven't been doing. It's just kind of putting other jobs and other priorities ahead of myself and like my vision for myself, which is um, working for or working in the fashion industry. Um, Definitely for a magazine. Um, That's not my own magazine, for sure. and, you know, doing a lot of concept work, working with photographers, um, collaborating, being called to sets, um, man, movie posters, the whole gamut, it's just like the whole entertainment industry. I'd love to be, you know, hired to use not just, I guess, my technical skills, but like my mind and my storytelling and what I have in here, which is priceless, I think, mm. in my opinion. So what's the next, you, you say you're shooting concepts and everything. So what's kind of, what's next? What can people uh, expect? Cause when this comes out, Nike's done and you're going to be deep into the next thing. Well, you know, it is, it is still Nike, um, focus. Um, Hell yeah. I'm just, that's what like my sneakerhead collection. Perfect. Go all in, um, go deep. <laughs> so I have this piece I'm working on called Bigfoot. Um, and it is what you probably might think it is. Um, I don't want to give off too much detail now because I just like the excitement and building up excitement behind stuff. But oh um, man, I'm like zipping my mouth because I want to like yeah, blurt things <laughs> out. I'll shut up. I'll DM you in the chat. Yeah, it's, it's a. I guess it's a combination. Did you say, I'm, did you say Bigfoot? Bigfoot, right? Um, okay. I'll I up. am. I guess I'm officially showing my body. I guess in 
Ooh, on my Instagram, ooh. not not nude, no, oh, nothing like oh, that. Damn. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, I'm sorry, guys. Um, <laughs> really close. Um, but I will have my face in there, which is something that's not on my Instagram and something I don't always do. Um, rarely, I'll post a new selfie every now and then after ghosting social media forever. People want to see your face, so that's that's awesome. I think so. so. Okay, so when this comes out, we're speaking in the future, this will already be out. So you'll be deep in this. Right. Um, what's kind of the plan then of a campaign around it post wise? And how are you going to stretch it um, to repurpose and uh, market it outside of Instagram? Let's talk about that for a game plan. Yeah, I, I guess, I guess that could be a struggle in, its, in itself. Um, I guess deciding which projects are just like concepts that I like put out. Maybe it's just one post, maybe it's one post that stretches out to the full grid of um, the three squares on your on your profile. Um, so I guess I'm kind of dealing with that, like this next Bigfoot um, project, I was thinking it would just be one image split into three, um, I guess, separate tiles. So when you get on my profile, you see the full thing. Um, so I like that, but I also want to challenge you because put your put yourself in the lens of like a client coming on your page. Yeah, that's dope. You can go all the way across. And like Brittany's doing this as well too. Like here's a triptych real quick, but then here's, you know, three other posts to go along with it. So I really want to push the campaign portion just so a potential client comes in and they see like, oh shit, that's a dope ass graphic. But now I see it over here. Like you showed before um, a billboard or, uh, an editorial right. piece and then you have it shown over here maybe it's a photo overlay um, I'm just saying Bigfoot out in the wilderness with your color scheme photo overlay with the graphic on it as well or some kind of dope product or you know so right. I definitely want to push you to like yeah do the triptych across it that'd be sick but then really dive deep and maybe even show some of your process maybe you're recording sure. your screen uh, via quick time of when you're working in Illustrator throw it in an app throw it in Premiere speed that shit up just throw in new angles in there. And I talked to Brittany this morning about this as well. Just another way of just not showing that pretty polished final post. Yeah, that's the eye candy, but like someone wants to hire you. They want to know that you can take a process from conception and idea to like the final tangible commercialized piece. And then people like me might have questions or something I can um, ask you along the way, or I might learn something new, or maybe you can break down a tip real quick on, how you leverage this mock-up or how you Photoshop this on here. Like you did kind of with that gradient on the queer, the scene poster, you know, like you teach and that's how you build a fan at the same time attracting a client. So that's what I really want to push more towards and go past just a triptych. Anybody can do that. Right. Anybody can post, right. you know, let's go one step deeper and you already shown me you can do that. So got to do it now. Um, yeah, no, for sure. Um, I was, I was going to post, within those individual posts um definitely mock-ups for sure it's probably it will, will probably be another spread uh, magazine spread um but i do want to show like a process and i've never done a process video so it'll Ooh. be fun um, all right action item just, yeah so um, show myself putting it all together pretty much and i've learned that when people go all the way across from like three it doesn't get as much engagement one because you're not able to like put on the post, like, Hey, swipe to go see this, you know, it kind of just lives on its own. And so I found like doing that separate tier of stuff mm -hmm. will get more engagement and more people to look at it when people just understand, like, Hey, if you're posting across the grid, it's just for grid candy. There's probably not much baked into it in terms of caption right. or anything like that. So that's where you hit them with like the other three. Right. But, yeah. Um, and one other thing, when this Nike stuff is done, I want to challenge you. Have you been posting on your own Facebook yet? No, so I had like a business page um, that I've just been meaning to update with my new brand, um, my new logo and um, all that stuff. So same thing as my Behance. If you go on my Behance now, you'll see all my old stuff and it just hasn't been updated. Uh, so a couple action items. I, it's a lot of things. I don't know what your schedule is like. Ideally by Monday. One, just give a mm -hmm. quick little facelift to your Facebook page. It doesn't get lots of traffic because you got to pay to play on Facebook pages. I hate Facebook pages. That's why I love groups. Um, but post the Nike series and then reshare it on your profile. 
that way people know, Hey, you know, he's sharing work and Oh, he has a business account over here, you know, so share it over there and then go and try and find some sneaker accounts and yeah. pull the lane train, um, trick out of her book. And just be like, Hey, this is, this is a concept I've been working on a self-initiated project. Um, huge sneaker guy. And, uh, just kind of want to know what people's opinions are. Cool. Yeah. Just gets, this is, this is too dope for you just to live on Instagram for right now. Like it's gotta, we gotta push it other places. Are you on Reddit or anything like that? No, okay. um, just Facebook, Instagram. Okay, cool. Um, anything else? Um, no, not really. Um, no, I just appreciate everything that's been going on the past few weeks and keep the momentum going. Um, everybody's putting out really exciting stuff and it's great. Yeah. You feed off of it. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. You're a completely different person than on that car ride when we talked. So, <laughs> right. Yeah. It's dope to see the, uh, this new starving Marvin taking, taking form. So, uh, appreciate Thank you brother. You. Cool. Thanks. Moral. Hey guys, my name is Moral. I'm an AV, an aircraft lover and aviation artist known as Hilo one aviation art. And I'm based in Michigan. I create adorably accurate aircraft caricatures that serve and educate the aviation community, evoking nostalgia, honor, and joy. My goal for this program is to scale my brand into a full-time business by June, 2021. And it's built on aviation themed custom client requests and an online shop, including prints, pins, shirts, stickers, and more. All right. We got a, we got some, a lot of work to start locking down to get you that 2021, but shit it, with the, how much you love doing this and the skill set, man, and how much you've already been learning over the last month. Like it's definitely not, not possible. It's something I wanted to say yeah. to Marvin and like, fuck 2025, let's do by 2022, you know? So let's bump it up, set big targets and overachieve. But, um, what's one thing you're grateful for? Well, one of them is, uh, but actually two, I got to spend an awesome day with the family out in this perfect October weather. There wasn't a cloud in the sky and that was a real blessing. And the second one is, as I posted on my fa or my Facebook business page last week, I just updated the, um, the cover photo and it seems like there's a little bit more involved than just updating it, but whatever buttons or knobs I twisted, this post got reached 14,370 had 445 engagements, 24 comments, and 66 shares. On your fucking Facebook yeah. page? Yeah. Where, where did this Where did this come from? Do and more I of had, what works, man. Yeah. Do more of what works. Yeah. So that was that was a really nice surprise. What's your uh, Facebook page real quick? Just so I can go it's on like your page. Hilo One Aviation Art also. So catch us up, man. What's on your mind? What do you want to talk about? What's going on? Yeah. Um, just trying to... Uh, Learn this the scheduling of posts of late. I got the first one to, to go out in the morning on uh, yesterday, and the next one will go out tomorrow, and that that will conclude the the first aircraft of my uh, my Top Gun series. Yeah, talk about your Top Gun series real quick and where the concept came from, and what yeah, you've been yeah. building so on. And I'll share the screen. I um, wanted to put together a, a series of of, of aircraft for this for this season and i put a poll out to ask my community what they wanted to see i picked two movies did you want to see the top gun or you want to see this other aircraft based movie and the majority of the folks wanted top gun so I thought that was really cool and it you know i got to do a lot of research which in course uh was watching the movie which i hadn't seen in years um and then just proceeded to to kind of roll this out in a, in a process to, sh to let my community know how i work um, to get their their comments along the way and then let them know that these prints will be offered as a limited run at the end of uh, each aircraft. So, you know, the conversations you and I have had, Scotty, have just been instrumental in learning a lot about posting on Instagram. I'm, I've been laying it on you thick too. Yeah. <laughs> laying it on you. Yeah. And, and I, I keep telling you, I want to commend you too. Like your best quality is like, coachability you are so open and willing to hear feedback you adapt to it and you implement it asap 
you, you, you got know? to, man. There's like some of this stuff is is not out there in the world, you know, and to have it, you know, from a an experienced source to get you quicker along the lines of where you want to go is just it's, it's priceless. Well, it's, it's, it's cool to see you start working instead of one-off pieces to start working a series. And what we've been yeah. really working on is caption writing, um, building scarcity into things, um, selling without selling, providing yeah. value. Um, I think I said presentation, but yeah, presentation is like the big one. And yeah. I think that's going to be the next thing we really hit on on series two to go all in on. Right, um, right. Everything you just learned from project one or series one is now going to go into series two. We, we, re, we iterate, we revise we shine and bring out the next thing and then you'll do it in series three, right, you know, part right. three. And that, that's one of the things, you know, this is like the first, the first go, go around. And I guess one of the things I'm thinking about, and that's a struggle is to, to fine tune this posting routine or, and know that it'll be consistent for the next one. Cause right now it feels like it's a little, okay. It's a little all over the place, but yeah, yeah. you're experimenting. You're right. figuring it out because so, yeah, you really haven't kind of... posted like in terms of a campaign or a series before. So this is, this is new and extremely uncomfortable. Yeah, it is. It is. It was just posting the post in the past and now there's more intention behind it. And, you know, my, my goal is to get more confident in this way of engaging with my community and providing value to them. Definitely. So let's, let's kind of talk about, it sounds like a schedule could be really, really helpful. And yeah, so absolutely. we've talked about it. Like every two weeks you create this series, right? Yeah. Like you create it all. And we had talked about maybe it spans six posts just because it's a nice, easy number that goes across the grid. There's so many different things you can do. Right. And working backwards, here's like the final post date of maybe it's that framed piece. If that was going to be the final. So like what's first, maybe we can post a work in progress you know, a nice little zoomed in shot of your iPad, or maybe it's just an exported JPEG of like the bones of the sketch, you know, like that's super, super interesting to me. So make it super clean, make it. uh, So whatever you do for post one of this one, do the Mm -hmm. same thing, same lighting. Maybe it's the same angle of um, your iPad or something like that. Mm -hmm. So I really, really like that idea since you're doing it that way. And I can give you some tips, show you some examples of nice little dope shots that are people they're doing with their iPads. And then number two, maybe it's a process video or an Instagram reels. Mm-hmm. You know, I want to push you to do a reel. So maybe one is a work in progress of your iPad. Maybe two is an Instagram reels, or maybe you want to say that to later when you have more detailed come out. Cause you have like your, your sketch phase, you have your ink phase, you have your color phase. Um, then maybe one of them is an Instagram live Again, which you did a great job last week. Now let's like, it, it's you're writing with training wheels on your first Instagram live. Right, now right. we can download it and be more intentional because you were one to act fast. You get excited and you act in the moment, which is like a good thing. But now we're taking that step back and being mm-hmm. way more intentional. Like you said, like that's a huge learning curve as well. Some people just post in the moment. So that's just breaking habits real quick. Um, and then from there, you have your carousel that is now giving the sell, giving the sell. But the whole time you're giving value, sharing stories about, uh, top Gun, letting people know, hey, something's coming, something's coming, just like last time. Um, here's your carousel for post. And then the maybe the fifth one is your final artwork with a carousel slide of the zoomed in left and right, like you did. Um, here is your latest post that we're looking at. This is going to yep. be in the past. Now we're talking. And then the last one is the framed. The frame, yep. So, yep. So that kind of makes sense to you. Does that kind of feel good? That's basically three posts a week. Maybe it's a Monday, Wednesday, Friday yeah, kind of thing. Yep. Yep. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Okay. So then from here, batching would be helpful. Yeah, that's what I was trying to, actually I was doing it for this, the scheduled um, post because mm-hmm. everything is ready to go. It's just, you know, you, you select the date and the time and, you know, does it while you sleep. And, oh yeah. And so you're using Instagram scheduling or was it yeah. in Facebook studio? Well, they're like both. Cause when you look at the, at the website, you have the icon of either one at, right at the top and you can Is it creator it studio between. though. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's really like Facebook's backend and your Instagram is integrated. Did you find that it worked well and was easy? Relatively, but a couple of times I forgot to, or I accidentally checked post to Facebook while I was in Instagram, but in Instagram, I was just saving um, a draft, but uh. I had post to Facebook selected and I had to go back and delete that uh, 
that post in, on Facebook. Okay. But, okay, so maybe this is like the key for you to kind of batch things. So when's your next, so have you started the the series yet? I know you did like an IG live on it, right? Just yeah, last yeah. Friday. So the last couple of days I've been um, fine tuning that. So that's, we're pretty, pretty close to, to getting that one wrapped up. Okay. So when would the first post of that go out? I mean, that could go out on one, when on Saturday, actually. That could be good, but since Saturday is like right around the corner, is it, are you able to like batch some things? So like my challenge to you, can you batch your posts for next, for example, if Monday, Wednesday, Friday just works easy for me to yeah. say that. Could yeah. you batch it over the weekend, right? The, get the get the images ready, write the captions for them, get your hashtag stream ready. So literally, they're already scheduled Sunday night instead of like doing one post at a time. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That could happen. Okay, so in the meantime, um, you probably have your base layer on Procreate or something, save like the skeleton of it. Yeah, um, yeah. God, we could talk tomorrow and find a nice way to present that, you know, or it could just be simply an exported um uh jpeg of it on like a white background or something yeah definitely could do that okay is that so that's th been saved okay so you already have yeah. that so you already have like the work in progress ready to go yeah okay and so how that, you want to present it is it just well uh, no no just the 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 jpeg of the art is mm -hmm. there but getting the caption and the, the hashtags that's next. okay cool so then post number two do you have an idea of what you want to do what's next for like say wednesday so for Wednesday, would I want to follow the same kind of schedule we did for the first one mm -hmm. to get it, you know, kind of streamlined. Yep. So what would that be? It looked like it was a process video. Yeah, process video. Yep. I want to challenge you to make a reels instead. All right, let's do reels. It'd be more engaging, I think. Okay. And actually, I'll I'll poke around in uh, research because I haven't done a reels yet. I uh, and, uh, I taught myself yesterday in about an yeah. hour. Okay. But yeah, if you feel like an and. Katie said, hit her up too. Hey, Katie. Um, I appreciate that. Thanks. Um, yeah, I want to challenge you because you could just, with how quickly you take action, I feel like you could figure it out. It doesn't have to be perfect. Imagine like you just did that one post, like you're just shading it in. Yeah. But now you're just doing that just three seconds at a time or two to three seconds at a time, just in different spots of your pieces. And then okay. just compile it together and boom, here you go. And it doesn't even have to be perfect. You know, you don't even have to put really captions or anything on it. Uh, Katie is a wizard at it from real number one. And awesome. I think it's really going to bring that next element. Plus you're leveraging a new tool Instagram has out and they want to favor yeah. you for it. Okay. I think reels could be huge for you. So, okay. So we got, um, let's just make sure our action items are planned before we jump off uh, Monday. You got your work in progress ready Yeah. Two, we can do a reels. And even if you want to just hide a couple layers and then just redo that same work or something like that, or some yeah. detail, whatever. Um, then what would Friday's post be? Um, Friday could be, the, the the final one unless we're pushing that to the next week i would push it to the next week okay push it to so, the next week and so maybe like a um a better work in progress maybe this is the ipad shot of progress okay. of where you're at with it because right. that way you're showing just static artwork for your work in progress of the bones and maybe they can swipe and see the reference image mm -hmm. that could be cool and maybe like the reference image is like hanging over just a little bit on the first image to let people know there's something behind there, you know, just to okay. like get them to uh, swipe. And then um, we can do an iPad shot. That could be pretty cool. Mm -hmm. That way you're showing a static image. You're showing a video and you're showing an iPad, iPad shot, like three different ways of showcasing your artwork, really right, stretching your limits. Cool. Yeah. Really pushing yourself. And then next week um, would be the carousel. Uh, okay. I I'm asking more of this. One yeah. Here. Cause We're you know, that's what we did. The last one. So like the first, like Monday, Wednesday, Friday, next week is more of the process. And then Monday, Wednesday, Friday, the following week would be more of the, the finished. Okay. So you would be posting. So those three are done. So then would you follow up with this one or would this be the end to wrap it up? I have up? one more. I have one more aircraft to do. Yeah. You got, you got the, um, the final image coming tomorrow, right? Of frames. Yeah, I'm talking about for like week two of the next series so are you going to do the black carousel with all the information then the final post where they can swipe and then um the framed picture again is that yeah. the game plan yeah okay perfect just want to make sure i'm on the same page yeah just so like we're, we're 
dialing in a, a process that's repeatable. Dude, you could almost get all your posts done this weekend. You know, yeah, uh, could, that's yeah. a lot to do, but it's possible. I'm yeah. not, I'm, I I only want to see you have next week's done for your action items, but then throughout the week, you can knock out the next week and get jumping on the following or shit. One of those two, um, you can still do a live or an Instagram live too. If you feel like that worked better instead of yeah. something else. So you can swap something out and put an Instagram live session in there. Okay. So giving you that option. Yeah. Oh, reels would be dope. Definitely a real and an Instagram live would be dope too. That way you can start mm-hmm. connecting with your audience. Um, cool. I look forward to seeing this and hit me up, um, about like a, an artful iPad shot. If you want some kind of like, yeah, man, yeah, guidance well, on that. I'll hit you up and, uh, we can, uh, chat about this. Yeah. And Katie yeah, said IGTV. So yeah, if, if not a reels and IGTV session yeah. or Instagram live uploaded IGTV. So, um, God, if you could hit, if you could do both of those. Cool. Um, all right, man. All right. Thanks, man. Hell yeah. Keep up the good work. All right. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Brittany. I'm Brittany Nielsen. I'm a brand strategist and designer based in Sacramento, California. I create vibrant and impactful branding solutions that help bold brands attract and connect with new customers. My goal is to scale my freelance business and develop passive income offerings that will generate a six figure net profit by 2023. Hell yeah. What's one thing you're grateful for? Um, one thing I'm grateful for is, um, uh, the progress that I've made so far, um, with, because of this program, um, I feel like I've kind of graduated from just posting to post to actually paying attention to my captions and engaging with, um, my audience and, um, really leveraging those hashtag buckets that, uh, you helped me out with. Yeah. You're killing it right now from what? August or August is when we really started talking and picking things up. And now like your whole feed is transformed. Yeah. It, it's definitely looking a lot different than it used to. And um, yeah, I'm liking where it's going. So also hopefully we can celebrate too. Um, Lakers have won a championship by the time this episode comes out. So yes, both definitely. Laker fans over here, um, <laughs> what's kind of on your mind or what, you know, what do you want to talk about today? Um, I, I don't know that I have a, a struggle, but um, I do feel like with the progress I've been making with my feed and just um, working on new projects that I feel like I'm starting to not hit my stride, but figure out what I want to do. And maybe um, I'm thinking about possibly like niching down for a season, like just trying to figure out what I actually what kind of projects I want to get. Um, so talk more about that. And real quick, this is where you were yada, yada. I don't know what the hell I'm looking at. What are no expectations? What the fuck do I hire this person? What are they? Are they a hobbyist? Oh, whoa. Oh, okay. Here we go. There we go. All right. Continue. Yeah. So, um, I think like with how I've been able to post more and just generate more, like, make more work. Um, I think I want to focus on like, uh, brewery branding and stuff that we talked about, like seltzers and just like the alcohol industry, I guess. But Mm. I feel like I had out of the projects that I've posted so far, that's the one, the life is beautiful is the one that I've had the most fun with. Um, Mm. perfect indicator right there. So, um, yeah, I think that I want to move in that direction. Well, let's, let's talk about that direction then. Let's make a game plan. Let's make more actionable talk around it and said, I want, because I know you, you're going to go do it, but now let's, let's, let's workshop this on the fly. What's that look like for you moving forward? First off, what do you got next? Oh, (laughs) my next post is going to be sort of a tribute to, um, so when Kobe passed away earlier this week or this year, I wanted to do a tribute tribute post about him, but, um, I just didn't, take the initiative or have the motivation to. And so with the Lakers about to win the championship, uh, hopefully tomorrow, um, I have a a new triptych that I'm going to be posting possibly over the weekend um, as a tribute to him. So, And will you make at least one print so I can be your first purchase? Oh, yeah. Or something. And see, I don't know. I had fun with that one. I'm having a lot of fun, to be honest, with everything that I've been doing. Um, I just, it's been on my mind that, I don't know if maybe I need to 
you know, for my feed to have it focused on one thing or not. But I mean, it's what feels right for you. If you want to get hired in the beer scene or just alcohol industry in general, there's no reason you can't go all in. You don't have to get married to it. You don't have to feel pigeonholed. You can pivot anytime you want to, but the value of going all in is that you're going to build up a fucking sick portfolio and then you can build a pitch deck or you can build one specific page on your feed. If you don't want to do outreach to people and blow up their email with a fat ass PDF, send them a link to your strict, your beer page. I got a buddy, Joey Bearbauer, who's doing this right now with his outreach and it's crushing it to land yeah. the work that he wants. So why not? Yeah. And so, that's kind of what I'm, I'm looking for. I think like just to, and I, I think the last month or so it's helped me kind of focus. Cause I just felt all over the place before, but I think that that might be, it does. It is scary to me. Cause it's like, how long do I do that for? I guess for as that. long as you want, there's no timeline, no rules at all. And it's like everybody else hiring yourself for a season. So maybe it's a season. How, how many different ideas do you have in mind right now? What's the first one you want to attack? Um, well, I don't want to do a ghost brand. Um, I was thinking, I don't know, this has been top of mind, but I, I want to do something that's called like lucky Lucifer, like lucky devil, but Ooh. play on that and make it like a logger or something. Um, and just kind of work through a type of illustration, kind of dark, but kind of funny, I guess. I don't know. Um, no, I'm Sorry. feeling it. Um, would that just live on its own or would it be a suite? Like here's the ghost brand and here's their different line. Kind of like uh, Lane's doing with coffee right now. Here's the brand of coffee and here's the different lines of it. Or would it be like, here's the lager and beer and here's like a high-end vodka. And then here is a champagne, you know, some champagne. So what what's kind of your brain Doing. Yeah, I wasn't right. I wasn't thinking about it like that. I just thought of it as just a single line, um, like underneath a brewery name, but Okay. So okay, so an actual so you want to do a brewery. Is it would it all be under life is brutal or that's kind of what I'm brainstorming right now. I'm just kind of I've just like started thinking about this. So I think as like, of like just today? No, like earlier this week, but <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, pretty fresh. So so let's make some action items around it. What's, what's your next post? So after this Kobe series is done, are you getting started? Yeah, I think so. I want to just kind of jump in. I really like, I'm, I'm getting excited about this lucky Lucifer kind of feel like I have these ideas. So I kind of want to venture into that. And then. And, and I'm trying to like come at it from an outside looking in. Um, I want to know, is this part of the life is brutal? And this is like, now their series or is this something completely new that way i'm thinking of just from a storytelling aspect of catching people mm -hmm. up if it is from life is brutal then like it's a bit disconnected from down below so you'd have to do a good job of storytelling you know from from the yeah. feed standpoint i was thinking it just stand alone like i just start um building uh different ghost brands with a beer or like hard seltzer, you know, within that alcohol realm, um, mock-ups and shirts and stuff like that. Would you still kind of do the six post triptych all the way across or what's kind of your mind going? I'm just digging deep and asking yeah, no. questions. Maybe you already have it figured out, but all I I'm asking is because someone else out there may have similar ideas and maybe we're generating ideas for them. That's why I just put it on the spot. Yeah, no worries. Um, I do want to continue what I really like that I've been staying on track with is, um, at least three posts each week. So I do want to continue that. Um, I had one, one, um, the five star brand come across two weeks worth, like six, um, posts, but I want to keep that kind of, um, streamlined look like the three posts across. Or yeah. It's looking really, really, really nice for sure. And I think this type of work, hella curated is really, really good in the beginning to, uh, set expectation, you know, and as you grow and build your name, you don't have to do campaigns. You don't have to do series. You you can post a picture of you and your dog, whatever you've already set the tone, set expectation. You have an audience build, you have clientele. So you can like, but I think what you're doing now is solid. You know, when someone lands on your page, okay. They know who you are, what's in it for them, what kind of work you do. Then they scroll a little bit and they see for like three, six, nine, 12, all of it aligns with what you say you are. You got your bright 
beautiful face and your profile. So people know like, this is Brittany May. Okay. Personal brand. This is the dope work. Like it's yeah. So how about this? By the end of 12 weeks, how many beer ghost brands do you want or alcohol ghost brand projects? So if you're doing one every two weeks, um, what would you like to be? At least like six or so. like, I, I kind of want to aim. <laughs> okay. Cause we're for, for people's point of view, we're in week five, ending week five, we're starting week six. So you got six weeks. You doing one a week? Yeah. Was, that's what I was thinking. Cause <sighs> let's go. Cross. Go so. big or go home. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Hell yeah. Shoe high for six. See. <laughs> All right. So what's your action plan over the weekend? I'm going to let you give me the action plan since this is a new project um, that I'm uh, picking up on. Action plan over the weekend is to, yeah, develop, like explore that lucky Lucifer brand and just develop um, those three posts. And also um, on the side, I also want to, uh, like we talked about, build up my Behance and Dribble and, and all those accounts as well. So I want to uh, work that in this weekend. That way, when I start building those ghost brands, I can just like seamlessly post nice. them on everything at the same time. And as the Kobe one comes out, immediately start um, posting that on Dribble, okay. just to like get your feet wet, just dual post. That way it's like fresh on your mind. Okay. I post here. I made a quick little cropped four by three version just to get the, so that way, anytime you post now here on out, you can just go and hit the other platforms real quick. So I think the Kobe one would be a nice one just to uh, get going over the weekend. Okay. Sweet. Cool. Anything else? Nope. That's it. <laughs> I want to commend you again too. not only stepping up your game from the artistic world and the creative and the promotional world, but you're like, you're opening up. Cause I know, <laughs> I know opening up vulnerability and transparency is not easy for you and for a lot of people. And I want to just like give you some mad props as you're becoming a valuable fucking asset for the family. And I love seeing the support you provide to other people. It's contagious. So good shit. Appreciate it. Hopefully that made you uncomfortable right there too. Yeah, it definitely did. <laughs> <laughs> good. We got, Katie, look at your hair. Thank you. Is that fresh? Yeah. Just for this call. We'll just pretend it's just for this. Uh, I'm Katie Young, the creative mind behind Rude Writing. I'm a hand lettering and watercolor artist who expertly uses colorful language to create honest home decor and cards for people who enjoy cursing and keeping it real. My goal is to scale to create products of my designs and to expand into painting murals here in Seattle. Wow. Boom. Remember uh, what, uh, in the June coaching group? Like us. I was on, like, I don't know what I'm doing. Us on the call with Tom Ross for that um, guest expert call. And wow. Yeah. What you just said right there is like, different into you're not this you're a different human what'd you do with katie young over there no this is the real katie young yeah the more evolved yeah. version the more woke evolve yeah here i am what's one thing you're grateful for oh so exciting news um i'm going to be doing some uh on-site lettering for an uh pastry shop uh awesome. coffee house shop thing and I sent my estimate over for the uh the head lady and it's the most I've ever charged for a project and so Can I sent it and she didn't respond right away and I was freaking out and then later that day she responded saying this looks great are you comfortable with sharing the details of how much you charge um Sure. Yeah. Uh, people want to know on a, a, like the, the entry door saying, you know, their logo, their hours and address and stuff that I'm charging $75 for. And then a big wall inside with their logo and then information about their no tipping policy. And that I'm charging $300 for. Nice. Um, that's a lot more of an involved process because it's such a big wall and also using their fonts and logo from their whole like branding package that you guys know all about. Is it about. done by hand then? Yeah. So it'll, it'll relate to their, like, it'll be reminiscent of 
their fonts, but it'll be done by hand. By the end of this program, so, your minimum rate is going to be minimum 500, nothing less, nothing less, or or grand, one of the two. But by the end of this, pro- actually moving forward after this project, your minimum to even hire you for anything is $500 minimum. That sounds so exciting. Look Good. at how excited Morel is for, Moral is for me. Sorry. Um, Good. I love it. I missed his face. I'm not on like the full view mode right now. Okay. He was very excited. Does 500 scare you? Yeah. Okay. Cause I was going to say, if it doesn't scare you, we're going to up it. <laughs> 400 scared me. So this was, that was really I'm exciting. glad you got that. And to me, your worth is even more than that right now. Just what you bring to the table. I really and- channeled you while I was writing the, in- the uh, estimate. You should have hit me up because I would have told you 500. But still, like, <laughs> that's a huge win. If you haven't made that before, that just knows, like, I'm telling you, you're worth even more than that. But that's good that other people see that value. And yeah. I'm stoked. Keep us posted on that. Okay, it's, uh, not, it's not rude because it's, like, in a store. But it's still money that I'm making as I'm expanding my horizons. So. And is this something that's going to... I think we talked about it, but for other people, this isn't necessarily something that you're going to show under rude writing because it's not on. It won't be posted in the main. I do have a story highlights in rude writing for uh, sign work that I've done. Um, But it, it may be posted in my, my former. Oh, look, there's me. Uh, Signs. Yep. My story highlights. And then also. um, Is this the one you did 75 for? That I charge so little for. Oh, that's 68 weeks. Oh, shit. I can't. I'm not going to scroll through all that right now. Oops. I don't want to take up all the time. Just X out. Yeah. Do I was this. looking for the X. Yeah. Sorry. Go on. Um, yeah. I probably won't post it. I'll do stories as I walk my way through it. But Definitely. So this is the nice little book. You if- love those balls, Scotty. <laughs> I'd love your balls post. <laughs> <laughs> And look at that, your reels killing it. Yeah, so I've been working on reels and then the two to the left of that's an IGTV that was just a hyperlapse uh, I posted. And And then I have my reels all prepared, ready to post for tomorrow. You were killing it. And this is where we were when we first started talking. And just like, look at it each week. Hey, can I push you to try this? Can I push you to try this? Can I push you to try this? Hey, instead of this, how about we do some video now? <laughs> and now look at your shit just as like, whoo, hot shit, hot shit, hot shit. I don't know what I'm going to get, but that's like, in a, it's a good thing. You know, it's not as predictable, but it's still like predictable and totally on brand. And I mean this all in the best way possible. I do have a question. So Come the yeah. real, you can take them out so they don't show up on this main post screen but they show up in the reels uh, right above it yeah um should i do that so that my home screen looks more cohesive nope Mm -mm. nope you're gonna get less traffic that way so you're just like immediately same thing with igtv you're gonna if you don't show it on your i think it's great to me this is still cohesive same okay color paper same uh angles like here you got an angle here you got an angle here so just by like the same angle of things can make things cohesive just by the same paper, just by the same oh. angles can like anchor it all. So no, do not change a thing. I think this is looking sexy. Love it. Um, what else you got on your mind right now? Definitely don't keep it going. I love this. Um, it's a lot of just, uh, keeping on, keeping on right now. Um, you challenged me since I want to get into murals to working on that. So I'm, uh, working on one that will go up in my guest room at my house. Um, I finalized the color palette this week. So when I go actually to get the paint for this pastry shop, I can also get the paint for that one and then be ready to paint at my house as well. Awesome. 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 So how soon do you plan on starting then? Is that like a next week or the following kind of thing? I had this lofty goal of getting it done by my birthday, which is October 23rd. Happy uh, belated birthday. Part two comes out the following. Maybe because you're going to be in part two. 
And so, oh, great. yeah. So what's, how about that for like a challenge? Are you able to get this done by November 4th or uh, what was that? No. November 4th. November 4th. That's my deadline. That is your deadline. No if, ands, buts about it. Um, we got to see that mural completed by then you're hearing it right now. That's, this is the biggest accountability you've ever had on your back for a project. So okay. you can I make can this happen. It. Hell yeah. You can do it. You were we a machine it. when it comes to kicking out content. So even if you like did one I'm post no that bad, week or, fine. or if like you worked ahead for a week and got like two drawings on, maybe it's a simpler piece, you know? So you can do this. I know you can do this and I want to yeah. see it. And what's the mural going to be again? Uh, sweet fucking dreams in our guest room above the bed. Can't wait to have your parents come over and stay, right? Or his parents or anyone. I mean, so far they're the only people who come to stay. So <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Um, anything else? No, we're good. One more thing. Are you offering your pieces for sale yet? Oh, I'm glad you asked. Uh, I have my reels coming out tomorrow is a piece that will be that piece itself isn't for sale, but I can recreate it in whatever colors you want for sale, which would be a great holiday gift. What's I also will. What? What's it? What's the phrase? Uh, don't grow up. It's a trap. Would be great for children's rooms or as a baby gift. Uh, I also will be selling most of the uh, posts that I have created as an Instagram flash sale, which I will advertise, but I haven't done it yet. Ooh, make like a stories highlight or something like that. Um, And can I hire you immediately for Don't Grow Up, It's a Trap? I would like one. Yes. Okay, sold. We'll... uh, you can collect my payment when we jump off the call. Perfect. I'll send you an invoice. Send me an invoice. Perfect. Um, Anything else? I want you to like at the end of each one of these, offer it up for sale, just like Nick's been doing. Yes, I I definitely channeled that. And I wrote the caption for tomorrow's post and channeled that as a preview of like, don't don't worry, this is going to be for sale. Awesome. Do you have like frames or anything that you can like create a a, a nice little mock-up or even like go to Walmart. They have super cheap, like five by seven frames. I don't even stuff. know where Walmart is, but yes, I or, will be, or Hobby these Lobby. I will be showing or, in frames. Or Amazon or anything, you know, you can buy I some do nice have frame. Amazon here in Seattle. Yes. Oh, uh, that That's, oh my God, that's like completely different world. Like, I don't know where the hell a Walmart is, but we have an Amazon in our backyard and I'm just like, I got- We have food. Amazon stores that you can walk in and you don't have to that's pay. Wild you just walk me. out with Stuff. You and have that. Charged. And I'm like, I have a Walmart, not even a mile away, but I have to order everything online for Amazon. So, okay. Don't that's a, that's a culture shift. Um, but yeah, yep. uh, Michael's or Hobby Lobby, whatever. Um, yeah. cool. I want to start a couple like, frames for these that I'll show. Um, and then I'll get some smaller ones for the pieces that I've been doing. Perfect. Yeah. Just another way to like show your work in a tangible commercialized setting for someone to buy. Yeah, because you can make a couple hundred bucks by the end of this year on top of the, uh, the client work you've been doing. So, hell yeah. Absolutely. It's dope to see all this growth since June's Great. journey. Thank like, this buddy. is wild. Imagine where you to be at the end of the program. I can't. I can. Big tings, big <laughs> tings. All right. Um, last but not least, Shereen's up, right? Okay. She's on the other screen. Got it. I'm Shereen Chu of Small Happy Crafts uh, based in California. And I create video game and anime inspired crochet creatures, also known as amigurumi. And my work is for those who want to learn more about crocheting dolls or just want like a cute plush to just brighten up their day uh, or their week, whichever one floats their boat. And my future goals is to are to leverage stop motion to promote my work um, so that there's just not a static image on your feed. Um, potentially to sell my crafts at conventions and to be commissioned for use for promoting new shows and games. Nice, solid. This isn't a hobby for you. <laughs> Maybe it Working, once was, but you're too good for this it to forward. be a hobby. Exactly. So uh, what's one thing you're grateful for? Uh, so I thought I lost Totoro because <laughs> I couldn't find him for three days and then I found him in a pile of clothes. <laughs> 
<laughs> so I'm grateful that I found him and I put him like next to me so I don't lose him again. And for those who don't know, right here, this is what she thought she lost. Again, and I'm learning a lot too. Yeah. All right. What's kind of on your mind? What's on your plate or what do you want to talk about? Uh, so I guess one of my struggles is also like imposter syndrome. Um, or, but like kind of going off of that was just perfectionism. Cause when I'm trying to crochet stuff, I'm like, Oh, this stitch isn't right. And I'll like go back and then I'll be like, Oh, this isn't right. <laughs> I'll keep going back and then just not be able to move forward from making something instead of just being okay with it and save all the iterations for a future um, trial and error. Yeah. How have you been getting through it or have you been, or have you noticed it's just been tripping you up too much? At least you're aware of it. Like that's number one. And a lot of people just let that inner critic just stop them from even continuing or posting. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now instead of, cause I also didn't write down my pattern before. So if I messed up, it's like, Oh wait, what did I, how did I get this far? Or if I did make something really good, it's like, how did I get here too? So now I've been writing it down just whenever I'm not happy with a shape or not sure about it, I'll kind of save it and start another one. So that way, if the next one I work on isn't great, I can at least go back to the first one and be like, this is good enough. And I can just continue off of it. And, um, and one thing I'm learning is like, you're way too close to your work. So that one little weird spot that may not look right to you because you're the expert in this world, but the people buying this or engaging and consuming your work, we're not the experts. We're not going to see the blemish. We're as long as it looks like that Pikachu, as long as it even resembles it to me, that's a masterpiece, you know, and you could have a, a weird thread stitch, whatever, a thread being messed up and I would never notice it. Mm -hmm. And so I want to plant that seed in your mind of like, maybe this is like an 80% to you, but to me, it's like 110% because I could never have the patience, the time, the vision to ever do anything like that. So to me, that's a masterpiece. And to you, you, you might hate it, but in the pieces that are like 80% to me, I found are like turds in my eyes end up being the ones people engage with the most. So mm -hmm. hopefully that can help you break that you're your own worst art critic. So instead yeah. of getting caught up, just power through that shit. Yeah, I'm trying to quiet that voice more. Because, like, I've made items for friends and family before. And I'll be like, okay, I'm giving this to you. It's not quite what I want. Like, this is great. And I'm like, that's, that's, missing and that's your thing. audience. They're not people who crochet. Think of it as a junk draft, you know. And I, I guess for me, if anybody else... I'm around there, even you out there listening. How many times do you get started in your piece? Like, dude, this is trash. This is trash. You get a little bit more into it. Like, this sucks. Then you get towards like 70, 80%. And you're like, oh, damn, this is actually kind of good. And then you get to like the end of it. And you're like, holy crap. I'm glad I stuck through it. Or I'm glad I pushed through. You know, I, I guess I deal with that often. You know, it's like, this sucks at least 10 times until I get to the end. I'm like, okay, this is 90% now. And I, I, I dig it. And I'm going to move on. So. Hopefully that's like, that's a mindset that I really want to get with you because what you do is, is tedious mm -hmm. and to hit a schedule that way we can stay in front of people and people can uh, know what to expect from you having to do rework like hurts that schedule. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Cause it's each piece. Like if I'm just creating a body, I've been redoing this one actually while we're chatting or during the call. And I think I, spent like 20 minutes trying to make it work and I was like okay I'm giving up on this one and restarting um but I'm at least for the stop motion when I was trying it out I just took the pictures anyway and I saved it, it looks, to me it looks cute because I have no clue what I'm doing <laughs> and, and that's fine like you say you don't have a clue what you're doing but you know way more than me and the fact you write down your process now you can teach your process mm -hmm. you know so if you don't write down what you're, if you don't have a process written down, you don't have a process, but you do, you know, and you never know when someone's going to want to learn from you because you show mm -hmm. up consistently in their feed. And in your, one day you're going to be saying the same thing of someone else who has that same inner critic. That's like struggling. I just have to keep redoing. I can't get anything done because it's just not good. And you remember this conversation 
<laughs> and then you're going to help that other person get out of a spot. And then it just keeps rippling. Yeah, totally. So what's um, kind of on your plate right now with your current project? Uh, well, once this episode comes out, I'll be two weeks later. So I should be done with the Ghibli series. Um, I sh- and I'll be starting the next series, which I'm thinking is Demon Slayer, but I'm not sure about it because it might be too detailed for me right now. So at least if I want to keep posting like a finished piece every two weeks, mm-hmm. I might have to wait a little longer for it and try to pick something where I can make something that's more simpler. Definitely. I mean, for sure. It, a hard thing for me is like I'm a detail oriented person and Jackie just took it out of my mouth maybe simplify the design. So if you do really want to do it, what are elements you can take away that someone's still going to notice it? Like, like the Pikachu, you know, and that looked like a simplified version. There's no mouth on it or anything, you know, but still like I would know in a heartbeat or the Snorlax. Those are the ones I gravitate to obviously <laughs> Pokemon nerd over here. But yeah, I, I like simplifying for you is going to be your best friend constraints in terms of time. Yeah, and totally. Colors keep shit minimum and then just simplifying the design. Yeah. I need to just pull myself away and be like, it doesn't have to be hundred percent, the color, the design, all the things like as long as they can still recognize it. Mm-hmm. It's, a, it's good. And this is the beginning stages and we're, we're just trying to like build that consistent. We're, we're, we're flexing that new muscle that we didn't have before you know, and finding new ways to still uh, like share the process and uh, showing like the yarn and everything. You're doing an incredible job with that, by the way. Great job with that. Um, I push you on that. Thank and you. Take action. Um, it's dope. I really, really, really like it. Uh, but it's to develop and get that muscle working of like, okay, I, I know this is when I'm going to be crocheting. I got to get this done so I can post by this time. And you're putting these guidelines, these limitations on yourself. And who knows, maybe you're like, really in 2021 you start catching and finding your groove and then you really just start going deeper on these pieces more intricate because you already mastered your time management now you can just even work quicker and you see your vision more so the more we keep doing this that that's why i'm so adamant about staying on it weekly is because you're just developing this process this routine and then you can add a little bit more and then you can add a little bit more and then you got the stop motion coming and now you're just a beast you know with all these different tweaks and uh bells and whistles to how you present your work Mm -hmm. so and i know you can i know you want to do that but we talked about simplifying it right now so yeah continue to do less but better and that's like my motto in life and i feel like that needs to be your motto too yeah totally i um i have like a to-do app and i just made like a little template that says like make a head make a body because i need something specific to work towards steps i've i found that if like okay just make so I was like, what part do I make first? I'll yeah. stare at it for a while and be like, I guess I could make the body or the head or something. So I just need like broken down steps or also be like, I'm I want to make everything at the same time, but I know I physically can't. Well, and you want to help other people who are interested in getting started in crochet, like you mastering your process, you can now put it together and now teach your process. So even just you breaking down your steps, I'm already seeing what the bigger picture, what that can evolve into. You may just see it in the micro for you, but like, I see how it's going to benefit someone else. Mm-hmm. So yes, I think, I think we're onto something right now. Um, hell yeah. So you totally. document your steps. Yeah. 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 What, what else you got? Uh, I'm just ch- still trying to get used to talking because this is like terrifying for me. Oh, you're doing, you're doing fantastic. All of you guys are just crushing it you know this just treat this like we're we're having that normal weekly call you seem to have really found your groove with that too you know this is the exact same thing Mm -hmm. i'm I'm still terrified during those two i just don't (laughs) show it you just don't show it well i'm glad you're you're not alone you know everybody was even i had the nerves on this like i had a uh, i was tripping over my words in the beginning then i then i forget i'm recording i'm like oh shit no this is this is just me talking to the homies so that's something we need to work about me knowing that it's probably never not going to be uncomfortable, but like by the end of the year, I want this to be just part of your routine. When you normalize something, it just becomes part of it, you know? So, um, when's the next post? When's the final? Uh, I post on Monday mornings. Um, final, final post for 
the series or the program? Just, just this next post, like the final uh, of the character. The, the next post should be, I'm uh, making Kiki from Kiki's Delivery Service. And so she's a little uh, witch who's trying to discover more about herself and her powers. And so I'll be posting that on Monday. The final piece? Mm-hmm. Awesome. Okay, here we go. Here's your action item. <laughs> Get on yep. Instagram stories. Everybody hold her accountable. Jackie, I'll get Nancy on you too. Talk to <laughs> Nancy. Love you. Um, oh, Nancy. But at least what you just said right there, you just you basically just rattled off an Instagram stories about this is what it is, why I liked it, why I was interested in it, and my uh, my intention on capturing it. You know, I really want to push you on this. And the beauty about doing this beginning when you don't have a big audience is not many people are going to see it. So you can goof up and not be perfect <laughs> and get better as you go. So right, yeah. you up for that challenge? Yeah, I'll try it okay. out. Okay, try it out. Perfect. And we all got to hold you account. So Monday, we should all see, here's your other action item. As soon as you post it and you do your stories, let us know in the DM uh, group so we can come and support you. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. Sounds good. Awesome. Uh I love seeing the growth with you right now. It's just Thanks. each week more and more and more as we simplify it. I see the next level of growth taking off even more. So, um, perfect. Oh, and I like Katie's idea too. Could be a carousel sometime. Each little time you do a piece of the body. I don't know. Maybe it turns into a carousel of like, here's the start, <laughs> or maybe it's like the final and then you swipe to see it like deconstructed all the way or something. That could be pretty cool. Oh, it's like, yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, instead of starting with like the beginning base of not much, start with the end and have people mm-hmm. swipe to see it. That could be really, really, really badass. Just document your process along the way and then teach your process as people swipe. Right. And I can yeah. help you with a caption or anything like that. So um, awesome. Awesome, awesome. Good work, Shereen. All right, thank you. No problem. Last but not least, and I mean it this time, we got Wilmar from afar. All right, so uh, my name is Wilmar Colmenares, and I design and screen prints under the name of uh, Created by Wilmar, based in California. Uh, my current passion project is a weekly batch series I call Create, that shines a light on my personal struggles as a creative and how I'm overcoming them. Um, my hope is that this series also inspires you to show up and create this by your circumstances. And my long-term goal is to scale my design and print studio into a full-time business where I can produce my own products as well as printing for hire. Hell yeah. Awesome. Um, what's something you're grateful for? Uh, two things this week. Uh, the first one uh, that I was able to finish my action items for this week. Uh, I changed my handle today. I created a Facebook album uh, with my first post. So I'll be um, adding to that album later on this week. And I looked at my IG insights for my last, po- my last post and it's been the best one so far. So... For that one, I changed my, I got rid of all my big hashtags and I was more intentional with those this time around. And I think that helped. Got to give you some screen time real quick here. Talk about this one or this one? Uh, the last one. This one? That one, yes. Yeah, the one we talked about. Look at mm-hmm. your fucking feed coming to life, dude. It's looking a little better. Little. If at least. Little. Yeah, I'm going to give you a round of applause here. And why I'm doing this, why this is a big win for those listening, like the family knows about this now, but Wilmer and I go back um, years now, but more specifically at the beginning of 2019, he was legit one of the first coaching calls that I had and gosh, all the way back, all the way back, like just trying to find his groove here. But he was one of the first one-on-one sessions and it was okay. He took some action. But then I think he just kind of like drifted off, um, just trying to figure out himself, you know, what he wanted to do. And then he's just so busy that it was hard for him to make time for himself. So then the first coaching program came along. He asked me about it. Nothing happened. Uh, The second program came along, asked me about it. Nothing happened. This time it came around and I'm like, yo, I'm going to be honest. I'm tired about you asking and not pulling the trigger on this, dude. I do not want to hear about where you are a year from now and see you in the same spot with the same struggles. Like, you got to be tired of this, man. I don't want to hear about it. And I said it in like a nice way of more of a motivating way, not like, dude, kick rocks. I want nothing to do with you. And fast forward to now. And why I'm bringing this here is because 
this dude has a family. He has a crazy job. Um, he barely gets time in the day to grind. He maybe gets what? I'll, I'll let you say it real quick. What's your schedule like? My my like a normal day for me. Yep. That just you know just and from a quick overview and how much time do you get to grind each day? So I to work on my stuff maybe thirty to forty five minutes every day. What time do you have to get up? You text me like you text me. It was like. 6 30 a.m where i was at and you would text me at 4 30 so, at your time so i get up at three uh i still work at four and then uh i work at uh, uh, 9 80 so i have to work nine hours every day and i get every other friday off so i work from three to 8 30 and i go back home to stay with the kids for online learning i go back to work at 11 30 so i'm leaving work at around 6.30 or 7. Uh, so I get home at around 7 p.m. every night. When do you grind? When, when do you get the clock in your new dream? So from 7 to 9, 9.30 is family time, dinner, bath, uh, story time. So I only get from between 9.30 to 10.30 at night. So I got to get some sleep. And I'm just going to go back on the share screen. You need some love on this, dude. You're a completely fucking different human being than the first time we talked, the second time, the third time. And why I'm bringing this up is that the biggest thing, I would say the biggest excuse people tell me is they just don't have time. And why I'm saying this and sharing this is because people just need to shut the hell up. Right? If Wilmar can do it, anybody can do it. He's done all this in 30 15 to 30 minute increments each day, action items. You hear him say he got all his action items done. He has a plan. He shows up with intent. This is what professionals do. He's got a target and he's very intentional with his time. And he's with the family that keeps him accountable as well. And he holds everybody else accountable. And he still finds time to engage with other people and comment on their work and learn hashtags and caption writing. This dude's an incredible writer as well. So, Wilmar, I've been waiting for a chance to like, do this on a stage for you, dude. So, uh, yeah, I've been like, this was, this is what I've been wanting to do. Why I wanted to do this program. And I told you, I got your back, um, on this. So I wanted to give you some mad respects and props on this, dude. You should be fucking proud. Cause I know us and the family were hella proud of you and you just come so far. Like I've known you longer than everybody else in here. And I've, you've made a significant growth with just in the last month and a half. So and I do want to thank you and the whole family because you guys holding me accountable and just being around you uh, and everyone here uh, makes the grind worth it. And besides my family, uh, you guys make it worth it. So mm -hmm. I appreciate you being behind me. We're all grinding towards, we're all running our own races to different places, different faces, but you were all going together, you know, working towards something bigger. And that's the power of the group and the family. And that's why it's a community and like your perfect fit. I would have been pissed if literally I'm talking to you spring 2021, you were meant to be in this now. Um, yes. So what's on your plate right now, dude, anything you want to specifically talk about? Um, so this series will be a series of six. I decided six, six batches. Um, so I'm working on my sketches for the, Fourth one, um, hopefully by now, I'll be posting by Saturday morning uh, my sketch uh, for the fourth batch. And uh, yeah, I'll take it from there. You're already catching your language. Everything else in the past two years is like, I'm going to try, I hope, I, I, I think, like you're already catching yourself. It's just a mindset shift, dude. That's the whole thing. Yeah, my mindset. Mm -hmm. So now immediately when someone complains, they don't have enough time. I send them your story. So tomorrow it will be two weeks since I started tracking my time. So I'll share that with the group. Yes. Uh, see what, what my, my daily average uh, comes to be. And we're going to tally it up to uh, by the end of the program to share it as well. But this is the yes. kind of stuff I want you to share on like your Instagram stories. Here's my weekly tally mm -hmm. for people, you know, like that's powerful stuff. So I was waiting for it to be two weeks because it tallies by, by week. So, okay, that's fine too. But just share these updates to people. I think that's like a, a cool little thing. And eventually like I speak on time management 
is because that's something I, I worked on and mastered myself. And now I can teach others. This is going to be something you can help teach others. Shit, you might even come up with a fucking app someday. That's Attract- perfect. Because my, the name for my fourth uh, batch is uh, master of my own time. Ooh, so nice. The, the create mm-hmm. track time app. We get to beta test it. Yes. There you go, <laughs> man. Um, anything else you want to add on top of this, man? I don't want to cut you off. Uh, no. So I want to talk to the uh, listeners right now. Um, if you're on the fence for your next wave of coaching, uh, from personal experience, just pull the trigger because it's, it's worth it. I was on the fence for a year almost. And now that I've done it and I'm not even halfway there, uh, it's well worth it. So if you're thinking about it, just invest in yourself and pull the trigger. I didn't ask for that, anyone. I didn't ask for that. Just let you know. I didn't like. Thanks for the $20 discount. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, man, I'm hella proud of just you. Just kidding. Um, yeah, you're a valuable asset to the group. Thank you. Yep. And I all- enjoy being part of, of your family. So I'm really glad I'm here. We're glad you're here too, man. Well, um, that and created by Wilmar, folks. Created by Wilmar. That's the name. So uh let's wrap things up. I'm not gonna put anybody on the spot on this one. I think Wilmar just kind of did it. So um that's a wrap. I appreciate you guys' time, your energy. Let's finish strong. We're going into week six, six weeks left after that. Um, yeah, we got we got the shimmies going on right here. Uh, let me get a photo real quick too. Actually, I'm going to get the, the sign off. Um, appreciate you guys. Love you guys. Thanks for kicking it and um, putting out your best work, showing up, giving back to your family, showing up for yourselves as well as the group. This group wouldn't exist and thrive and survive without you just continually doing what you do and being a part of this. And I'm blessed to have you as my friends and my family. So appreciate you guys. Thanks again for listening. It'd be awesome if you took the time to subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and let the comment below so we can connect. Again, if you want to catch a shout out as a future listener of the week, make sure you subscribe to the show on iTunes and give it a rating and review.